Barnes, then there's Chris Paul, and it's Champagny at the two. Well, both of these organizations have done a good job of acquiring and developing young talent, Grant. Absolutely, B.A. These no. rosters are filled with young stars. They have a chance to make some noise in the coming years. They just need to continue to grow as individuals and as a team. Now here's Paul. Up top, Barnes. Offensive rebound. Here's Champagny. No good on the triple. I can't believe he missed that three. Regardless, that's not a shot the defense should be given. That's not a bad shot at all. It just didn't go in. Sometimes the process is right, and you still get a bad result. Ball against Suggs. Over Suggs. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Rock solid screed right there. The defender got completely lost. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look for him. Bogner, the pass to Suggs. Van Caro outside. The three ball. The rebound by San Antonio. Outside Paul. Pass to Sohan. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs. As San Antonio retains possession. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Moments ago, Greg Popovich and I were able to chat. I asked him how he plans to slow down Paolo Bancaro. And coach told me, look, he's an all-star. So you've got to guard him with your whole team. He's big. He's strong. He can punish you down low. But he's also quick and has the ability to beat you on the perimeter. They'll have to be disciplined tonight, B.A. Appreciate the report, Ali. Now, here is Howard. Shot from 12. Count it. One for one to start the game. The Spurs have gone one of four to begin this one. Right wing. Back to Paul. Pass to Wimanyama. Oh, Wimanyama throws it down. And Wimanyama can dunk it basically just standing up. You gotta keep him out of the paint. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Here's Wagner. And Carroll outside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Oh, too big, too strong. It'll take more than that to stop Van Carroll. Well, after a decade of uncertainty, Magic fans now have a lot to cheer about. This is the most optimism they've had around the team since the Dwight Howard era. And it centers around their young star, Paolo Van Carroll. He is going to be a force for a very long time. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. San Antonio shooting their first free throws of the game. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Honestly, we have never seen someone like Victor Wimbayama, a skilled seven and a half footer. I mean, the way he moves, it, it's it's unreal. Both free throws good for Wimbanyama. Well, you have to appreciate a big man who can step up to the line and knock timeout, it down timeout. with confidence. And so Jamal Mosley calls for the timeout. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Wagner finds Suggs. 
No good on the shot. Sohan with some nice D. Hall looking over the floor. Pass to Sohan. Six to shoot. From down in the low post, it goes. So good at keeping his balance through contact. Sohan showing some poise right there. Magic trail by four. Suggs outside. Wagner outside. Clock at four. Fires the three. Connects from downtown. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Yeah, it's always nice to see him drop in a triple early in the game. That'll set him up for success the rest of the way. Now here's Sohan. Wimbanyama screen. Sohan, pass to Wimbanyama. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. The Magic have gone three of six from the floor. Back to Suggs. Launches a three. Rebound by San Antonio. Here's a three from Paul. Fires in the triple. Paul's got five points. And Paul loves these corner shots. Terrific at finding space to get his shot off. Magic trail by four. Now here's Suggs. No points so far. And Carroll outside. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Responding nicely with his own three, Bancaro. This is how competitive this man is. And it's Paul with the ball for San Antonio. Pass to Champigny. Back to Paul. Sohan outside. Wimbanyama, screen on Bancaro. Oh, Wimbanyama throws it down. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Now here's Suggs. Up top, Bancaro. Sohan with a rebound. Spurs lead by three. Here's Champagny. Pass to Paul. Sohan outside. This one for three. No luck on that one. Magic trail by three. Wagner with it. The three from Suggs. And again, it's Orlando with a three. Yeah, good to see Suggs bury the triple. This will only help with his confidence. Grant, you look at the development path of Franz Wagner. Not surprising he had an easier transition to the NBA. But think about this, B.A. I mean, he played against men very early in Germany. Splitting time in Euroball and at Michigan let him really develop in multiple ways. So he's seen it all and is still so young. Howard, the pass to Ben Carroll. Here's Suggs. Fires from deep. Sohan with a rebound. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Now Barnes. He's scoreless. Paul finds Wimbanyama. Fades and shoots. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. And the Spurs lead by two. The refined jumper of Wimbanyama. You just never see that in a man of his height. And Carroll surveys. San Antonio with a rebound. Wimbin Yama's got four rebounds now. Up top, Paul. He's covered by Suggs. Outside Barnes. Over Wagner. Barnes, no good. 
Orlando's gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. He put some rage into that one, B.A. You're telling me. San Antonio's gone one of four from deep. Paul passes to Barnes. Back to Paul. Sohan, right side. Wimbanyama, screen on Bancaro. Here's Sohan. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. They're using his size well and putting some muscle behind his play. That's how Sohan gets to his shot inside. Devin Vassell, he's checked in for San Antonio. And a change for the Magic. Wagner's checked in for Bancaro. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And that one misses. All right, Stan, what's your take on this very youthful San Antonio Spurs roster? Well, Brian, they've got the guy to build around. They're very exciting to watch. They've been gaining momentum. They're coming together as a unit, as a roster. And look, this team's got a chance to be very good together. And it's Howard finishing it off. Well, good decision-making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. The Spurs have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Left side pull. Pass to Wimanyama. Clock at six. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Suggs. A different look for San Antonio. Collins, he's checked in for women. Yama. Feldon Johnson comes in for Sohan. And Castle subbed in for Champagny. And Greg Popovich has called timeout. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. On the wing, Vassell, defended by Wagner. Vassell, shot is good. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Paul against Anthony. Wagner outside. Wagner with a screen. Inside. Stolen by Collins. Back come the Spurs in transition. Flushes it down to finish the break. You see the length and mobility Vassell possesses. I mean, he's especially lethal in the open floor. Here's Harris. Pass to Isaac. Shoots over Johnson. And it's Isaac with the basket on the assist by Harris. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Well, you expect there to be peaks and valleys, but you've got some excellent scores on both sides. And so Anthony will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Trailing by two. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. This Magic team is making moves in the East. Star forward Paolo Banquero said, we're a lot more competitive, we know we're talented, we can play with anybody, and we've proven it. Just one game at a time. Brian? Gotta take that simple approach. A team on the rise, Ali. Thank you. Now here's Paul. He's got five. Castle misses. Well, that's a shot the defense felt like they could live with, and it worked out for him that time. Pass to Harris. The three is up. And Chris Paul clears it away. San Antonio is going just one of six from downtown. The three is up. Counted from distance. Paul's got eight. And Paul is very selective with his shot attempts, especially from deep. So you know he liked that look. Wagner, the pass to Isaac. Orlando again missing. Spurs lead by five. 
Pass to Johnson. Jacks up a three. He can't hit that time. The Magic shooting 44% to start this ballgame. Anthony feeling it out a bit. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Well, the Spurs shooting well so far at 48%. Johnson a screen on Wagner. Vassell, he's open. Orlando with the rebound. Well, if you give him that shot again, I'm willing to bet he nails it, especially with that lack of defensive effort. Harris on the wing. Takes the three. Rebounded by Johnson. Here's San Antonio now. Three-point lead. And it's blocked by Isaac. We talk about Isaac's reach often, and they're using it to send the shot back. Wagner for three. Collins with the rebound. And here's Vassell. From deep three-point land. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. Oh, what a performance by Chris Paul. He's been the story for the Spurs. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for San Antonio? Well, you know, the analytics guys would tell you a team shouldn't be taking this many mid-range shots, but clearly they're shooting them with confidence. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Magic starting the second. Then Carroll and Carter Jr. make up the front court. Then it's Corey Joseph. Then there's Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Black in at the two. Now here's Ben Carroll. This is the baby hook. Now here's Jones. And he starts out with a miss in this one. Caldwell Pope against Barnes. Caldwell Pope, the pass to Ben Carroll. Yes! Ben Carroll fighting for two. Hard to defend Ben Carroll this close to the rim. Even when you contest his shot, he can still finish. San Antonio leading. Outside Wimbanyama. Free throw line jumper. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Wimbanyama's got 10. Well, they gave him the mid-range. Smart idea to take that one. Joseph passes to Ben Carroll. Shot clock at six. To the inside. Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. This is what makes Ben Carroll a difficult cover. His ability to pass it well and screen the rolls. Well, the Spurs shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. Pass to Mamo Kalashvili. Kicks it out to Barnes. From the arc. Drops in the three. Barnes has gotten himself on the board with a three there. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Here's Joseph. Defended by Jones. Carter, the pass to Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll with the touch from deep. His ability to shoot off the catch is a big plus. Ben Carroll has quick reactions, a really versatile score. Pass to Barnes. Wimbanyama against Carter. Here's Barnes. Good, and the assist to Wimbanyama. Barnes has got five points now in the quarter. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Magic trail by three. Out 
side, Caldwell Pope. Ben Carroll, left side. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. I'll say this, Ben Carroll is a guy that opponents can't forget about for a second. And you see it in all the defensive attention he gets. Teams show him all kinds of different looks, and he draws a bunch of double teams in isolation. No good on that one. Stan, one of the most impressive streaks in sports history. The San Antonio Spurs, one of the smallest markets in the NBA, making 22 consecutive playoffs. Yeah, and Brian, there's nothing that I respect more than consistent success year after year. I think it's harder than having that one great year. What San Antonio did in those years is incredible. And they had a great sideline reporter right here, too. Good-looking guy. And the playmaking skills Ben Carroll has already are outstanding. Just such a unique young player. Pass to Bassey. Here's Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama powers it through inside. Man, Wimbanyama getting it done. Woo! And here's Ben Carroll. Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. They'll pin that one on Harrison Barnes. For a young player, Van Carroll has tremendous footwork in the post. He stays in balance and puts defenders in awkward spots. Orlando shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. throw drops for Van Carroll. Stan, you've coached some great defensive anchors in your time. Who do you view as the best in the game today? Well, Brian, you probably have to start with Rudy Gobert, but we've got guys like Brooke Lopez, Jaron Jackson, Anthony Davis, and then we've got two young ones coming up that could be as good as we've seen in Wimby and Chet Holmgren. He gets to the line a lot. Van Carroll knows that and works on those shots at practice. And stolen by Van Carroll. And the Magic pushing it up now. Run on the floor, Van Carroll. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Well, as a coach, turnovers will drive you nuts. But sometimes that happens when you're aggressive. So there's a bounce. Pulls it from 20. It's rebounded by Bataze. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, it was a great look. Sometimes they don't fall. You've just got to keep taking great shots. Now here's Van Carroll. He's got 15. How about Paolo Van Carroll, coach? What a special talent. The first overall pick back in 2022, and then the rookie of the year. Well, Brian, he's not just a scorer. He's a six foot ten playmaker, and getting that out of someone who plays on the front line and can also play as a small ball five, Bancaro's versatility makes him very valuable. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. A different look for San Antonio. Mama Kelishvili checked in for Sissoko. Castle comes in for Branham. And it's Trey Jones in for Wesley. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And so it's Vassell who brings up the ball for the Spurs. Pass to Jones. Wimbanyama, screen on Suggs. Suggs against Jones. Just five to shoot. 
Outside Wimbanyama. Three pointer. And it's Orlando with the rebound. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. And Carroll against Vassell. And Carroll no good. San Antonio has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Greg, compared to some of the flashier scorers, Devin Vassell has a more workmanlike approach. Yeah, he can quietly drop a big game on you. He doesn't draw attention with stylish plays and big circus shots. He just grinds it out by finding his looks. He's off on the first. Coach, as you know, two-way wings like Devin Vassell are a hot commodity in the NBA these days. Yeah, Brian, he's got good defensive instincts. He's got great length and offensively a pretty good three-point shooter. But his main weapon is that mid-range jump shot. And San Antonio making a change here. Sohan's checked in. And the second free throw is good. For Orlando, they've gone four for six here in the second. Pass to Ben Carroll. Anthony outside. Here's the Taze, covered by Wimbanyama. Now Anthony, beyond the arc. And another miss by Orlando. Here's Castle. No points yet. And here's Jones. He's covered by Suggs. Wimanyama against Van Carroll. Six on the shot clock. Wimanyama double teamed. The three. Ooh, Wimbanyama with the silky stroke from three. Scouts love this from Wimbanyama. A big who can hit smooth three-point shots. Van Carroll in the post. Sohan covering. And Van Carroll gets it to go. Yeah, when you make your mid-range shots, you force your opponents to adjust. Well, look, he's got the link to get that shot off regardless of how the defense plays. Now here's Vassell. He's got five. Wimanyama, pass to Vassell. Soft touch off the glass. Vassell's got seven points in the game. And this is what it's all about inside. Vassell willing to get physical to finish his motion. Orlando trailing here. Suggs with it. Outside, Caldwell Pope lets it go from deep. Drills it from deep. Caldwell Pope's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, those go down for him in his sleep. Now Jones. Outside, Wimbanyama. A cell against Caldwell Pope. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Champini. He's checked in for San Antonio. Ball comes in for Jones. Wagner's checked in for Orlando. Howard comes in for Anthony. Orlando has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. And here's Suggs. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Chris Paul. Looking at lineups around the league, Grant. Seems like they're becoming more positionless than ever before. Yeah, you're spot on, B.A. To the point where some people feel all-star voting shouldn't be by position anymore. It should be by merit. And misses. Good on the second one. 
And so Paul will bring it up for San Antonio. Trailing by two. Vassell outside. Paul, a screen on Howard. Launches it. The Spurs rebound. And down it goes. Two points. Sohan's got six points. Well, Sohan has been well coached on attacking the glass. And doing that gets him the follow-up bucket. Here's Ben Carroll. San Antonio with a rebound. Limbin Yama's got six rebounds now in the game. Outside Paul. Sohan outside. Clock at six. Limbin Yama, high post. Over Ben Carroll. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Limbin Yama's got nine points now in the quarter. Yeah, this is what everyone wants to see Wimbayama doing. Dominating on the inside. The Magic have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Here's Bataze. Sinks that one from the post. Well, when you move the ball, you open up the defense. Great job to make the unselfish play. San Antonio, they've gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Pass to Champagny. Wimanyama, high post. Working on Bataze. Wimanyama, pass to Paul. Five to shoot. Fires the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 11. That's inexcusable defense right there. you got to contest the shot better than that. The pass to Batate. Van Caro in the post. He's against Sohan. And Van Caro gets it to go. I mean, it's incredible. Van Caro can be so dominant. A young player with such a promising future. San Antonio has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Devin Vassell is progressing offensively. He said, I feel like the game has slowed down, just making the right reads. I know I can get to my spots. I just want to show that I'm an efficient scorer and a willing passer. I'm trying to be the best player that I can be. Yeah, love that work ethic, Allie. Thanks. And that misses. That would have put him up. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's Champagny. And the 17-footer goes down. And the Spurs lead by three. Orlando has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. And we've got a timeout from Jamal Mosley. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. in for Vassell. And a change for the Magic. Wagner's checked in. Substitution on the Out of bounds, magic ball as Orlando keeps possession. Here's Howard. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Jeremy Sohan. the first and growing up in California Stan when did you first fall in love with the game of basketball well Brian my dad coached for a long time and I just remember going to his practices and going to his games I can't remember a time where I didn't love the game and so Howard nails them both San Antonio leading Paul finds Wimbanyama
just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. The Magic have gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Back to Suggs. Pass to Wagner. There's the triple. It's hauled in by Wimbenyama. Wimbenyama's got rebound number eight now. Barnes passes to Sohan. Oh, sweet move. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Yeah, he's a fearless player. I mean, Sohan not afraid to give up his body to give his team a better chance. San Antonio shooting their sixth and seventh free throw shots in the game. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Magic trail by five. Wagner outside. Back to Wagner. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. With great mobility in the eight-foot wingspan. Yes, eight foot. <laughs> Wimbanyama easily wipes that shot away. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. First free throw is good. That one misses. And so it sucks. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. Six point game. Howard, the pass to Suggs. Wagner finds Suggs. Shot clock at six. Offline with a three. San Antonio's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Coach, you look at someone like Jalen Suggs. Man, has he improved his shot. Yeah, Brian, I think you've always loved the effort that he brings at the defensive end of the floor. But now... He's a much more efficient shooter, much more decisive, and really understands his role. Here's Howard. The Spurs making their last shot. It's Barnes on the wing. He's covered by Suggs. Sohan outside. 43 seconds left in the half. Magic trail by eight. Here is Howard. He has seven. Wagner outside to snap the cold streak. It's hauled in by Wimbenyama. Wimbenyama's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Suggs. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. Yeah, and you know they're tracking the tips and deflections because that tells you who's affecting the game. Now here's Paul. To the middle. Here's Wimbenyama. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. From deep three-point land. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's San Antonio finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Thanks, I'm here with Spurs head coach Greg Popovich. Coach, how do you get this team playing so efficiently at the offensive end? I beg my butt off constantly. It's embarrassing. At least the begging's paying off, though. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, coach.
Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. For those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Paolo Bancaro with a strong contribution so far in this one. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, I'd love to see what they drew up in the locker room because you're right. He's the problem right now. And if you're just joining in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Barnes and Sohan, your small and power forwards. Then there's Wimanyama. Then there's Chris Paul. And a Champini at the two spot. That's the San Antonio Five. The three from Bencaro sinks it. What range from downtown. Bencaro's got 24. San Antonio leading by five. Ball passes to Wembanyama. Here's Champagny, guarded by Howard. Pass to Sohan. Here's Champagny. Just four to shoot. Now Paul. He's covered by Suggs. Paul with the bucket. Paul's got 15. Yeah, everything is running through CP3 tonight. The team goes the way he goes. And Carroll outside. From downtown. Rebound by San Antonio. Outside Paul. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Pass to Barnes. Here's Wimbanyama. Oh, it's Wimby! Yeah, terrific follow-through from Wimbayama, proving he has a good head on his shoulders. And Caro outside. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Suggs outside from behind the arc. And the three-pointer goes. Suggs has got his second basket. And not wasting any time here. Suggs is quick on the draw off the catch. Ball finds Barnes. Sohan outside. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. And Suggs has got the ball here for Orlando. They trail by six. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you got to love that kind of effort. Getting in there and fighting through the defense. Passes to Barnes. Back to Paul. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Wagner. Wagner's got four rebounds now. Pass to Suggs. The three. Gets the three ball to go. And it's now only a one-point Spurs lead. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Look, when the three has fallen like this, there's not a whole lot you can do defensively. The Spurs have gone two of five in this third quarter. And we've got a timeout call by Greg Popovich. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. It's time to talk this over and try to put a stop to this run. Yeah, I like the timeout here. The coaching staff needs to get these guys regrouped and refocused.
Magic on D. It's a one-point game. And there's the call on Ben Carroll. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. First team foul. So it's San Antonio now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine to the paint. Here's Paul. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The defense gets in Paul's business, but his instincts are just too good. He's still able to get off his shot and draw the foul. It's his first trip to the line. That's good from Paul. If you're a head coach, you love having a guy like Chris Paul around. He's a coach on the floor for you and helps keep everyone accountable. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. I'm sure they don't want to send him to the line. That has to be in their scouting report. Up top, Ben Carroll. to Howard. Six to shoot. Wagner for three. Rebound by San Antonio. Whitman Yama's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Paul against Suggs. Here's Sohan. Ooh, hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. Sohan's got 11 points. And this is what you like seeing. Sohan looking confident shooting from the mid-range. Ball against Suggs. And Carroll outside. Kicks it out to Barker. Rebound San Antonio. Here's Barnes. He's got five. Wimbanyama, screen on Wagner. Three from Barnes. Offensive board. Wimbanyama. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. Well, if you're going to let him get that close to the rim, that's what's going to happen. Leaving no room for error with the slant. Wagner with it. He's got five. Up top, and Carroll. Back to Wagner. Pass to Howard. Here's Ben Carroll. Victor Wimbanyama grabs the board. Wimbanyama's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's Champagny. Guarded by Ben Carroll. Champagny, the pass to Wimbanyama. Can't cash in the 10-footer. Magic trail by seven. To the wing on the left. Back to Suggs. Pass to Bataze. And Caro outside. Ben Carroll brushes off the contact and sinks the shot. He can play big and tough. I mean, Ben Carroll bangs his way in. And Greg Popovich has called timeout. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. Harris is checked in for Howard. lead by five. Paul passes to Sohan. Suggs against Paul. Wimbanyama screen on Suggs. Here's Paul. And he lays it up and in. Paul's got six here in the quarter. Yeah, and despite his relative lack of size, CP very crafty finishing inside. 
Magic trail by seven. Suggs outside. Wagner with a screen. The kick out to Ben Carroll. Five on the clock. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Jeremy Sohan. A full load to handle anywhere on the floor. Ben Carroll makes sure he gets his. First one at the line is good. A different look for San Antonio. Massey, he's checked in for Victor Wimbanyama. And Branham subbed in for Champagny. So he picks up just one from the line that time. San Antonio leading by six. Ball passes to Barnes. Offensive rebound. Now Paul. He's got 19. Puts up a deep three. Orlando grabs the miss. Ben Carroll's got four rebounds in the game. Let's it go from 14. Out to Harris. 4-3. Wagner against Barnes. And Carroll with a screen on Barnes. Here's Wagner. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. And it's Paul with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Oh, that's his eighth make of the game. He's only missed four so far. That's his go-to. Doing what he can to strengthen their lead. Here's Wagner. Seven points in the game. Pass to Ben Carroll. Back to Wagner. Down low. Here's Batadze. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Batadze's got four points in the quarter. San Antonio with the ball. They lead by four. Here's Branham. Pounded by Harris. Back to Paul. Pass to Barnes. Suggs against Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Count it. Good. Paul's got ten points here in the second half. Yeah, these are the shots Paul hunts for. He is so confident at this range. Wagner outside. Back to Suggs. And he drops in the layup off the glass. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. And we've got a timeout call by Greg Popovich. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. For San Antonio, Sissoko comes in for Sohan. And it's Johnson in for Barnes. San Antonio leading by four. Pass to Bassey. From about 19, Orlando grabs the miss. Man, coach is going to have a few words with him after that shot. Yeah, that definitely wasn't the shot they were looking for. You got to keep the ball moving in that situation. Now here's Suggs. 11 points in the game. Shot clock at six. Now here's Wagner. And Franz Wagner picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. And the Spurs making a change here. Collins checked in. The Spurs have gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. 
Yeah, I'd consider calling timeout right away after that one. The defense has to be better there. Magic trail by six. And here's Suggs. And to the outside. From outside the arc. Collins with the rebound. San Antonio's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. After undergoing three ankle surgeries in 10 months in 2020 and 2021, Coach Zach Collins has bounced back amazingly. He really has, Brian. And the injuries have really been the only problem for Zach Collins. He's got size, skill, and toughness. This guy is a very effective player when he's healthy. His story is inspirational. It is indeed. San Antonio leading by four. Outside Johnson. Sissoko passes to Paul. It's blocked. And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. And we have to take another look at that block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Castle's checked in for San Antonio. Harris is checked in for Orlando. Joseph comes in for subs. Here's Johnson, true on the 14-footer. Yeah, not the easiest shot. Johnson not afraid of a challenge. Magic trail by six. Pass to Carter. On the wing, Isaac. He shoots. Rebounded by Castle. When the defense is playing off you like that, you want to be able to convert. But that time, you just couldn't get it done. Right side, Paul. And it's Orlando with a rebound. 133 left in the third. Joseph passes to Carter. Rebounded by Johnson. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. We've got 108 left in the third. Clock at six. And the foul on Chris Paul. That'll be a second foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. When Benyama's checked in for San Antonio, Jones comes in for Paul. And the Magic making a change here as well. Black's checked in. Now here's Wagner. Seven points in the game to the middle. Here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. You love the show of force from Carter Jr. He's not messing around when he gets the ball down there. Fifty two seconds left in the third quarter. Outside Jones. Pass to Johnson. Now here's Wimbanyama. Isaac covering. Here's Wagner. Gets the bucket and the foul. That's on Trey Jones. Oh, unreal play to take on the contact and get it to go. Devin Vassell, he's checked in for Collins. Good for Wagner. San Antonio leading. To the inside. Oh, got a piece of it. 
Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Shot's good by Black. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. Now here's Wimbanyama. 23 points in the game. Three quarters of play and a close one here. Magic out in front. They lead by one and will return shortly. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Now that is an elite level dig. What a great pass. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. On the court for the Magic, Paolo Bancaro is out there with Mo Wagner. Then there's Contavious Caldwell Pope. Then it's Gary Harris. And it's Joseph in at the one. Orlando leading. Harris on the attack. And Harris throws it down. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. And with the score as close as it is, these are the opportunities you truly can't lack. Wimbenyama with a bucket. When Wimbenyama goes up, he can be so quick. I mean, the rookie looking very assertive. Here's Joseph. Bogner outside. Pass to Ben Carroll. Wagner with a screen on Johnson. Back to Wagner. Outside Jones. Castle for three. The offensive rebound. Oh, Wimbanyama throws it down. And now that's a momentum builder for sure. So important in a close game. Look at his teammates here. They love it. Plays like that going to get them going. Yes, some guys shrink in big moments, and some rise to the occasion. And Orlando has possession, following the bucket by the Spurs. Wagner with a screen on Johnson. Here's Ben Carroll. Vassell with the rebound. Well, that wasn't a bad shot. Defense playing a little loose there. Sometimes it just doesn't go in. And the shot goes. And when Wings take it down low, good things happen. Magic trail by four. Up top, Ben Caro. Will it go? Ben Caro uses his size down there. In a tight one like this, you have to trust in his ability. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Wimanyama, high post. Wagner's on him. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Wimbanyama's got 11 in the second half. Here's Joseph. And Carroll with a screen on Jones. Here's the three. And it's Van Carroll with a three. Van Carroll's got 32 points. You know, I know some would like to see Van Carroll increase his shooting range, especially since he doesn't have a solid shot from behind the arc. And so it's Vassell who brings up the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Wimanyama. Yep, that one goes. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Here's Joseph. Quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. The three from Ben Carroll. Here's Wagner. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. 
Plays like that make a coach's life easy. Love the work rate he shows on the glass to get the score. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Outside Johnson for three. It's rebounded by Wagner. Wagner's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Joseph. And Carroll with a screen on Jones. Here's Joseph, defended by Jones. Four on the clock. Here's Ben Carroll. And again, it's Orlando converting. Yeah, and Ben Carroll doesn't mind some contact. He enjoys battling through tight coverage and finishing. Here's Jones. Pass to Imadyama. Vassell with it, pounded by Harris. Vassell passes to Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama, screen on Van Carroll. Johnson finds Vassell over Wagner. And Vassell, the bucket, on the assist by Johnson. Vassell's got four points in the quarter. You know, he's so smooth on his catch-and-shoot jump shots. And Vassell has a natural rhythm on him, too. Van Carroll, no good. San Antonio has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Stan, when you talk to others about Keldon Johnson, one of the things you hear is that he's a natural leader. Yeah, Brian, look. The intangibles with him are off the charts. This is a guy that got on the United States national team because of the kind of person and player he is. He leads by example every day. First one falls. Orlando making some changes. Isaac, he's checked in for Harris. Houston comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Suggs is subbed in for Joseph. And so he makes both from the line. Magic trail by three. Suggs surveys the D. Pass to Ben Carroll. Over Johnson. That one's wide left. For San Antonio, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Paul. It's hauled in by Isaac. The Magic have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. against Paul and Carroll with a screen on Paul Suggs with the bucket so cunning and effective in screen and rolls I really like watching Suggs operate in these sets outside Johnson pass to Sohan oh they get a hand on it Just five on the clock. There's the three. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll's got six rebounds now in the game. And here's Suggs. Ben Carroll outside. Parker with a screen from deep. Rebound by San Antonio. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. against Suggs. Left side, Wimbanyama. Over Wagner. San Antonio again can't hit. Yeah, well, that's a shot the defense is probably going to let him keep taking. Here's Ben Carroll. He gets it in there. Ben Carroll's got nine points in the quarter. And this team relies on Ben Carroll scoring. But tonight, he's carried them. Paul with it. Sohan outside. Wimanyama, high post. Oh, Wimanyama throws it down. This is the very definition of a back and forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. 
And Suggs has got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. They trail by one. Pass to Isaac. From deep three-point range. Rebound by San Antonio. Limbin Yama's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Here's Champagny. Back to Paul. Fires it. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. And now a three-point Spurs lead. Quick art to draw. Chris Paul certainly doesn't lack confidence shooting the ball. And so Jamal Mosley calls for the timeout. He wants to make sure everyone is aligned, given the situation right now. The Spurs making the switch here. Barnes has checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hi, guys. Well, Jamal Mosley was just reviewing the plan with his team. Coach telling their team, this is a tight one. We need full effort defensively. One or two stops, and we will win this game. A coach preaching defense, a familiar tune. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Suggs, the pass to Ben Carroll. Back to Suggs. And here's Howard. The three from Ben Carroll. Knocks it down from distance. Ben Carroll's got 39. And the mechanics Ben Carroll has shown are already solid, which is what makes him a dangerous shooter. Back to Paul. Wimbanyama, screen on Suggs. Oh, Wimbanyama throws it down. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Orlando has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Suggs outside. Wagner with a screen on Paul. The three from Suggs. Kept alive by Orlando. Patate, the pass to Wagner. Oh, it's blocked by Wimpanyama. They get it back. Six on the shot clock. On the wing, Suggs. He's guarded by Paul. Suggs, no good. Well, when they're playing off you, you have to make them pay. And he couldn't. Sohan outside. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Batase. Batase's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Howard finds Suggs. Here's Batase. Wagner outside. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Champagny, the pass to Paul. Pass to Wimanyama. With the fadeaway. It's wide right, hits off the rim. Yeah, loose coverage by the defense, but he just couldn't make them pay. Now Howard. Subs outside, and Carroll with it to take the lead. Patate, the pass to Howard. Inside, here's Wagner, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Yeah, defensive breakdown timeout, there. Timeout. Gotta communicate and switch that screen. And we've got a timeout call by Greg Popovich. No doubt he's going to utilize the opportunity to make sure they're all on the same page here. Passes to Sohan. Suggs outside. 
and Carroll with it. He's against Sohan. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Jeremy Sohan. He's showing some strength inside. I mean, Carroll doesn't shy away from the contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Spurs. Pass to Champagny. Back to Paul. Sohan outside. Now here's Wimbanyama. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Well, that's what you expect from him in this situation. Orlando trailing here. Suggs outside. Pass to Ben Carroll. From seven. Sohan with some nice D. I think he got the shot he wanted inside, but somewhere on the play, he just lost focus. Wimanyama scanning the floor. The second effort. Oh, a sturdy shot from Victor. No fear in this young man. We're already getting a sense of Wimbayama's killer instinct. To the paint. And out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. What a costly turnover. Those are the ones that keep you up at night. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Here's Paul. A minute 15 left to the fourth. Pass to Imidiano. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Wimbanyama's got 43 points. <laughs> there were questions about Wimbayama's strength coming into the lead. No problem with the contact here. To halt the run. He connects! What a beautiful shot! Brings it within three! And stepping up when it's clutch time, that's a very mature play by the young Bancaro. Starts against Paul. Inside. Here's Limanyama. And it's in. Almost any time he gets the look he wants, he hits it. And that's who you want to go to with the game on the line. And so Jamal Mosley calls for the timeout. Coach clearly has something he wants to say to his team right now. Outside. Misses the three. And so they foul intentionally. As he 
doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that increases the lead to six. Here's Van Carroll. And looking for a quick bucket here. And then time foul. Out, trying to extend that game. And so Jamal Mosley calls for the timeout. Looking to get everyone dialed in and engaged. Seconds left in the fourth. And ten feet away. It's hauled in by Wimbledon. And now we've got an intentional foul. It's an eight-point ball game. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Wagner, the pass to Ben Carroll. Wagner outside. Fires for three. Oh, he nails it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And he did that so well in college. Suggs sharing it well in the league, too. 15 Free throws good, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven point game. Good job converting at the line and helping to build this lead. And he commits the intentional foul. And I'll tell you what, this game is in the books. I'm not quite sure why they're delaying the inevitable by fouling. Good on the first. And that stretches their lead to eight. So he drops them both, and it's a nine-point game here. No doubt, that just about seals it. So we see the Spurs get the win here. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Stan Van Gundy, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And as we leave you, here's a look at our player of the game, Victor Wimbanyama.